What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jazz, and today, the discussion of the day is going to be morals over millions. So, basically, this question came from, I think, um, it was Ruby Rose that basically said she'd rather have millions over morals. Now, I'm just curious to see what y'all answer is, but y'all know that social media plays a big part in today's society, and, you know, a lot of people do a lot of things for clout. Now, they did put out something here recently that said that content creators and influencers um, is basically becoming like a million-dollar, billion-dollar industry. So with that being said, are we cheating ourselves? for having morals when we could have millions basically doing it for clout, doing it for the money. Now, me personally, I always chose morals because that's how I was raised. I was raised to be respect a respectable woman. <laughs> but sometimes I do ask myself, like, you know, like, I really could be, like, I've had the opportunity to be on some cloud shit that probably could end up on the shade room. But personally, I don't want my name or myself to be associated with anything that's messy or anything that's, like, cloud-driven. I want my talents, my personality to always show up for me. However, however, I sometimes do get into, like, you know, with, with content creating and entrepreneurship in general, you know, it's very, it's sticky if you don't know. You know, with a nine to five, you know, every Friday, every other Friday, that check is coming with content creation and with, you know, being an entrepreneur and having businesses, you could have one big ass check one time and then not have no sales for the next month or not have, you know, no income for the next month. So it can be very, like, difficult to understand that, especially if you're coming from working a nine-to-five. So, again, the the question comes back down to it, should we have morals over being a millionaire? I feel like for women specifically, you know, because a lot of um, women, there's a lot of platforms like, you know, Instagram, also like OnlyFans, where, you know, you literally, literally, can post your body, can post, you know, stuff that you already sending to dudes anyways and get paid for it. And I know a lot of men and a lot of people in general try to, you know, bash women that do this or but I've also seen men do it and get money too. Are they being bashed for it? I think the So again, personally, I've always chose my morals, but I really look back at it sometimes and be like, you know what, if I just started OnlyFans, I could probably be a millionaire by the end of the year. No cap. But that's not who I am personally. But am I cheating myself? Because at the end of the day, I still, a lot of people do it for respect, but respect from who? Because a lot of people do do it for respect from others, but at the end of the day, I'm a baddie, I respect myself, I have morals, I'm a good woman, and I still get played. So what's the, what are we really doing it for? Because it, it make it make sense. Am I really shorting it? Damn. Now, don't get me wrong, because I live a nice lifestyle. Like, I am very blessed for the life that I live. I literally don't have to work a nine-to-five. I have freedom to do as I please, when I please, and I love that for me. However, I could really be having it my way, you know, but I really do choose to just wait on God's time and whatever's for me. Like I said, I could have been, you know, use cloud or use niggas or use, you know, different things to boost me on the spectrum of, of cloud. But I really want to be my own person. I want to be in my own light. I don't want to be attached to nothing negative. I don't want to be attached to nobody, period. Like, when they say get out the mud, like, I want to be that, but I really don't want to do that. If that makes sense. So, basically, what I'm saying is, like, I want to work hard for my success. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to just be handed to me because of who I'm talking to or who I'm fucking with. Because at the end of the day, like, it's me. I stand alone. So, you know, I really just want it to be on me. But is that an ego thing? Like, am I really tripping? Like, what? It's like, you only live once. For real, for real. So it boils back down to it. What do y'all feel? And I would love to hear a man and woman's perspective because, you know, should we care about being a millionaire but losing our morals, losing our respect? And who are we really losing our respect from? Because at the end of the day, you know, people can say all, all, all this about Ruby Rose because that's what brought this discussion in general. But people can say all this about Ruby Rose, but I feel like a lot of people respect her. I don't. I I respect her as a woman, and, I mean, it just is what it is. So what y'all choose? Let me know how it should go, From a, like I said, from a male's perspective and a woman's, because I feel like it only really goes towards women. It's like, you know that if you created an OnlyFans, that you will be judged so hard, so hard. And who wants to be talked about? You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, to talk about Jesus, too. Y'all let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye.